Emeraldas. The private company Tokyo Cruise Ship is a water bus operator in Tokyo. It operates several public lines and also offers its services for cruises, events, and chartered ships. Tokyo Cruise Ship currently has a fleet of 14 ships, including Emeraldas, Himiko, and Hataluna, which are called sister ships. And they're very similar indeed. The futuristic ships were designed by Leihi Matsumoto, a world-renowned anime and manga artist. The reason Emeraldus is considered the newest ship is because it was manufactured more recently compared to the others. It can hold up to 100 people. Inside the ship, there are three compartments where passengers can choose their seats, and as you sail past various attractions, you'll hear announcements from beloved anime characters. The interior and exterior of the ship are reminiscent of something from the not-too-distant future, and you may well feel like you're aboard a spaceship that's been launched. Actually, this looks like quite a spacious ship, so why use it for cruises only? For example, in Bangladesh, during floods, large boats are used as floating schools. Though it doesn't take a natural disaster to arrange lessons there, imagine what it would be like to learn in a floating school that looks like Emeraldus. Inland LNG Carrier Dutch inland shipping companies Vecca Group and Dean Shipping BV have joined forces to develop a small-scale carrier for transporting liquefied methane across inland waters. This is believed to be the first serious step towards aquatic gas corridors. The carrier was initially designed to be 280 feet long and 34 feet wide with a focus on the width to ensure unrestricted navigation in inland waters. The intended capacity for transporting liquefied natural gas is between 600,000 and 800,000 gallons. The carrier will be equipped with two power systems, a main plant that runs on natural gas, providing a power of 3,285 kilowatts, and an auxiliary plant that runs on diesel fuel with a power of 1,500 kilowatts. The cryogenic tanks will ensure that no more than 0.2% of the gas evaporates. The gas engine and the generator will be fueled by steam, which ensures minimal losses and maximum performance. Ghost Ghost, created by Juliet Marine Systems, is an advanced stealth ship capable of reducing hull friction to 1 900th of that of conventional water vehicles. It was designed specifically for the U.S. Army. Ghost uses a dual pontoon super cavitating hull. It's gyro stabilized and suitable for coastal operations due to its low draft. When traveling at speeds lower than 9 miles per hour, the Ghost rests in the water using its 39 foot long centerline module. As the speed increases, the ship raises above above the water on two 12-foot long struts, which improves stability and decreases water resistance. The four propellers are located at the front end for greater stability and better control at high speeds. The propellers direct air downward, creating a cavitation effect, which means less drag and a smoother ride. Since the engines, fuel, and most of the computer systems are underwater, it reduces the vulnerability of the entire structure. Critical systems are protected by the water itself. The airplane-style cockpit is equipped with large large 2-inch thick windshields. It's controlled with a throttle and a joystick. So far, the Ghost has clocked speeds over 34 miles per hour and is currently undergoing testing to push its limits up to 58 miles per hour. Well, the ship got its name after its design, which has a noticeable resemblance to the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk. All this makes the Ghost virtually invisible to radar detection. Jet Shark Let's say you want to swim like a dolphin and jump out of the water, but to do this together with your friend. This is where Jet Shark comes to the rescue. This is a water vessel which looks like a dolphin or shark. It races on the surface, occasionally diving under the water and then jumping out again. The 20-foot-long Model Q can accommodate four adults in a waterproof, climate-controlled cabin with large panoramic windows. You can enter and exit the vessel via gullwing doors on both sides, which can be left open on hot days if the Jet Shark is floating on the surface. Since the touch displays and other controls are the same on the left and right sides of the instrument, 
instrument panel, either of the two front passengers can act as the pilot. The full-featured jet-powered prototype of Q is powered by a 420-horsepower Kodiak Marine engine. Future models will be equipped with 600-horsepower supercharged or diesel engines for use by touring companies. The prototype has a maximum speed of 45 miles per hour, but the commercial variant is aiming for a top speed of 55 miles per hour. Gliss Speed Gliss Speed is called the first device for electric water go-karting. Very easy to operate, environmentally friendly and silent, this water go-kart is available for adults and kids from age 9. You don't need to spend a lot of time studying the manual to understand how to operate the vessel. Everything's designed to be intuitive. Gliss Speed has excellent stability on the water due to its low center of gravity and advanced hull design, ensuring a smooth and controlled experience. When it comes to speed, there are user-friendly modes available that can be easily adjusted based on the user's preferences and the sea conditions. The company also provides the option to buy an inflatable racetrack, adding an element of competition to the exhilarating experience of riding Gliss Speed. Gliss Speed is equipped with an electric motor and a lithium battery that provides two hours of autonomous operation. It can reach speeds of up to 15 miles per hour, but the power doesn't exceed 5 horsepower, which allows anyone to ride the Gliss Speed even without a driver's license. One great thing about the Gliss Speed is its eco-friendliness. It doesn't emit any harmful substances, creates no noise, and leaves behind only a tiny carbon footprint. This makes it a genuine electric jet ski that helps preserve the shores. My Canoe Solo 2 My Canoe Solo 2 is a folding canoe that can be folded out in just a couple of minutes. Thanks to its origami design, users can carry it anywhere. Unlike traditional canoes, it's lightweight and can be operated even by beginners who've never canoed before. My Canoe Solo 2 folds into a packing box when not in use, and when unfolded, it turns into a Canadian-style canoe. Take the road less traveled with confidence as you pack this conveniently-sized canoe, perfect for off-road adventures. Its compact design ensures it effortlessly fits in your car's trunk, providing optimal strength and performance. Weighing a mere 19 pounds, My Canoe Solo 2 is a lightweight canoe that can withstand rough conditions. Its design incorporates double-layered polypropylene, ensuring durability. Don't be fooled by its compact size and foldability, as this canoe can handle a payload of up to 300 pounds. It's worth noting that the earlier version surpasses the My Canoe Solo 2 in terms of carrying capacity at 350 pounds, but its own weight is almost 29 pounds, and folding it out takes 5 minutes instead of 2. Sea Bubbles French startup Sea Bubbles is one step closer to launching its water taxi fleet in 2019 after successfully testing a hydrofoil prototype. In 2018, the company tested its craft on a lake in Geneva and then conducted a five-week trial on the Seine River. As of December 2019, 40 such water taxis had already been ordered. What's so special about them? The four-person cabin slices silently through the waves with a pair of pseudo-wings submerged at a 45-degree angle, lifting it and reaching a speed of 7 to 9 miles per hour. The four skids reduce water drag by 40% and increase efficiency, ultimately accelerating the sea bubbles to a potential 28 miles per hour. Sea Bubbles is set in motion by two electrically driven propellers attached to the rear skids. Electricity is replenished at the landing stage using solar panels and turbines to charge the batteries. In addition to making trips on the water faster, the manufacturer wants to offer an alternative to the transportation we're used to. According to the company, using a water route for commuting can reduce travel time by 50% in certain cases, and the device being fully electric doesn't have any negative impact on the environment. Bisky. An amphibious bike? Why not? It's the tiniest among all of Gibbs' high-speed amphibious platforms, measuring just 7.5 feet in length and less than 3.3 feet in width. 
Gibbs is a manufacturer that specializes in creating vehicles that can travel on both land and water. Bisky turns into an Ampiquot at the push of a button. He uses a two-cylinder gasoline engine that produces 55 horsepower. Both the engine and the five-gallon gas tank are protected against moisture by a sealed aluminum casing. The Ampiquot weighs less than 500 pounds and has a ground clearance of six inches. Additionally, while Bisky is typically designed for one person, the manufacturer provides the option to install a double seat. When riding Bisky on land, you can reach a maximum speed of 80 miles per hour. Although it's a bit slower on water, it can still accelerate up to 37 miles per hour, which is quite enough for both leisurely rides and enjoyable adventures. Red Shark Bike Red Shark Bikes has introduced a series of trimarins that allow cyclists to take on aquatic water surfaces like rivers, lakes, and seas. Yes, you'll actually be able to ride a bicycle on water. Behind the invention is CEO and industrial designer Joseph Rabau, who previously designed cars for Volkswagen. So far, there are three models of trimarans for those who just want to have fun, for adventurers, and for athletes who want to improve their performance. The first two models are made of high-density polyethylene. The adventure version can accommodate backpacks and has a waterproof storage trunk and also features a thicker plastic that reinforces the underside. The sport model is made almost entirely of lightweight carbon fiber. All three models have a folding design, retractable handlebar, salt waterproof drive shaft, and stainless steel nuts and bolts. By the way, some people use spin bikes as a group exercise. I wonder if similar exercise can be done on the water with trimarans from Red Shark Bikes and how far away the people can swim if they really put effort into exercise. Mellow Ship Are you a fan of chilling out by the water? Or do you prefer kicking back in a hammock? With Mellow Ship, you can now enjoy the best of both. The creators realize that hammocks offer pure pleasure and relaxation while traveling on the water is exciting and entertaining. This inspired them to develop the hammock boat, bringing together these two wonderful activities. Mellow Ship offers a straightforward design of two inflatable floats, each measuring 18 inches in width and equipped with two separate air chambers. The creators claim that the Mellow Ship is virtually unflippable. Nevertheless, it's designed to operate only on calm water. The boat can be equipped with a lightweight electric motor powered by a compact battery and even a solar battery pack to recharge it. Two hammocks can be stretched out to comfortably accommodate two people. And if you don't need hammocks at the moment, the pontoon floor is good for a yoga class. Yoga doesn't sound good for you? Then you can set up a table with two folding chairs in the center section of the mellow ship and have a picnic on the water. It's also possible to install an umbrella to hide from the sun, a speaker for listening to your favorite music, holders for fishing rods, a canopy, and even a cooler, though for an extra fee. And although at first glance Mellow Ship might seem impractical, the creators assure that the entire structure consists of eight large parts. The assembly takes just 10 to 15 minutes. Actually, it looks like something that would be in great demand in Thailand. People here have floating kitchens and restaurants, and after having a meal, it'd be so nice to relax in a floating hammock. Go Boat For recreational fishermen, there's nothing better than getting out of town and casting a line. But finding space for a boat can be difficult if you live in the city limits. This problem can be solved with a stable fishing boat that folds up to save space. The boat consists of an integrated floor, a seat, and a motor mounting unit that fits on an inflatable ring. When the boat's not in use, the ring simply deflates and the floor folds up, making the boat small enough to fit in the average hatchback. At 15 pounds, Go Boat is also light enough that most people can carry it alone without trouble. When it's time to cast a line, all you have to do is use the included pump to inflate the rubber part of the boat and attach it to the other components. Go Boat is compact enough to take you where no ordinary boat can squeeze through. According to its creators, the design took eight years to develop, and it's stable enough that fishermen can even stand in the boat without fear of tumbling in the water. Moreover, this inflatable boat will stay intact even if it crashes 
into something. With a top speed of 5 miles per hour, it's hardly surprising. The creators are also marketing their invention as something suitable not only for fishing, but also for entertaining the whole family. For example, if you buy a few go boats, you can then bump into each other on them. W Foil 18 Albatross It's worth saying right off the bat that this boat looks a bit weird. It's something between a World War I seaplane and a modern hydrofoil. Actually, W Foil 18 Albatross is two boats in one. The two-seater with a 75 kilowatt engine is capable of 58 miles per hour, but if you remove the engine and add a sail, you get a sailing boat with an almost unbelievable top speed of 46 miles per hour. It can accommodate two people inside. MB Brigitte Bardot This is a unique example of a high-tech 115-foot-long twin diesel-powered vessel designed by a renowned yacht designer, Nigel Irons. With a light displacement of 41 tons, a top speed of 31 miles per hour, and the ability to accommodate a crew of 16 people, this boat is perfect even for sailing around the world, and for a good reason. The vessel was originally built to circumnavigate the world in less than 80 days. The goal was successfully achieved in July 1998. It took 74 days, 20 hours, and 58 minutes to circumnavigate the world. And during that time, the vessel covered 26,000 miles. This achievement set a new world record for a powered vessel. Only 10 years later was this record broken. In 2007, the vessel was purchased by Ocean 7 based in Cape Town. It was recommissioned, and the future MV Brigitte Bardot became available for charter, film work, and offshore rescue operations. The vessel was then bought by conservationists, all for the sake of the 2010-11 campaign against Japanese whaling. The vessel kept changing its name as it changed several owners, and it ended up being called MV Brigitte Bardot to avoid copyright problems. Prior to the pandemic, conservationists owned the vessel, but they had to sell it due to the high maintenance expenses. Eventually, a Mexican individual became the new owner of the vessel. 